Dignam, like Bentley, has fought for a world title against the same opponent, very different outcome against the outstanding Alan Cannelly. Short night's work it was for the champ against Dignam. Bentley had his moments, threatened one of the great upsets. There's a line of thought which says that Bentley is a higher class operator, but Dignam will not be deterred by that. One of the reasons being the hundreds of rounds these two fellas have sparred together, Richie. They know each other inside out, don't they? So they've done a lot of sparring together, but you know that, that accounts um, for nothing when you're in there then, Paul. It's totally different under the, the bright lights and smaller gloves. Oh, that's a cracking shot there from Bentley. But you can see what, what, what Bentley's doing straight away, He's staying on the outside. He doesn't want to overcommit. That's a lovely counter as well from, from Bentley. And he's actually reversing the roles here. It's normally the southpaw that makes the orthodox fighter lead, but Bentley's just sitting back and drawing the lead off Dignam and then coming back with his counter. So a, a, a good start from uh, Denzel Bentley. But they're both boxing as counter punches, but it's who lands that shot. Dignam, in all honesty, wouldn't claim to be one of the top 20 best-known British fighters of this era, I don't think, but this can change it tonight. And after a slow start, he's just given Denzel Bentley a couple of reminders late in the round that he intends to do what Cash and Heaney have done to Bentley. Yeah, a good left hand from Dignam there. That's 30 seconds or so. Certainly having to reach for him is Dignam. Bentley the quicker. Oh, and Dignam takes one and goes down, and goes down heavily. Razor sharp from Denzel Bentley there. Six and seven already, and there's damage for Dignam. Good right hand, wasn't it, Paul, from Denzel Bentley, and he goes again. It seemed to be into the mid-drift, and you can see Danny Dignam straight away trying to bring his elbows down to block that by those body shots. He was certainly a body shot, That's and a there great body shot. Might be a finishing body shot, Dignam knows. He's got to dig deep indeed here now, and it's very early in the fight. Bentley has shown his teeth, shown he means business, shows he means to put the defeats behind him. Oh, the ref's oh. a great right hand, might be a finisher. Down again he goes. John Latham's having a look and starts to count. Eddie Lamb wanted to throw the towel in, Dignam told him not to, but it is called off. It's called off early. Razor sharp tonight, Denzel Bentley. Dignam had no answers. Richie, you were right all along. Well, super sharp, super work there from Bentley with that right hand. I thought that the, the more patient approach from him, weight on the outside, suited um, him a little bit better. Danny Dignam seemed to make the mistakes as he, as he sort of poured with that lead hand of his. And then you've seen Bentley come back with fast counters. But once he caught him to the body, he made the ultimate mistake, Dignam, of showing that he was hurt. He went down, and then it was all Bentley. He knew that the, 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 the winning line was very, very close, and he went for it. All guns blazing, and that's Bentley back to his best, Paul. Therefore, your winner by TKO and the new WBO international middleweight champion, Denzel Duchamp.